one other question. You mentioned the voter registration. Um, you don't have the backlog that you once had because a lot of people are, vote, are registering or updating their information online. So is that instantly, if it's updated online, or is there still some processing that has to take place? We have to process every application that comes through. So even if it's a change of address? Yes. And what is the timeline for that? Well, that depends. I mean, if you, we come out of one of the blackout periods when we can't process applications, which can, if you, once the you have a registration deadline, if you have a have an election and then a, a runoff, we aren't supposed to process applications during that time. So when we come out of that, sometimes we may have forty or fifty thousand applications that are that are sitting there. So it takes us takes us time to catch up once the blackout period ends. But we um, normally, right now, I mean, we only have, we have less than 5,000 um, applications to process this morning, which is a really small number for us. So, and, if, so. And so I, I would say right now, we, it takes us probably a day or two to process mm -hmm. those, those 5,000. And then those are trans, those go overnight and are verified in the system. And then they, the, um, it's probably two to three weeks before the, the cards are printed from there, and then, they're, then we pick them up, and then they're mailed. So I would say it's, it's four weeks right now. So if, if I, say for instance, I bought a new house in the fall and moved and changed my voter registration with my new address online and took a screenshot so I know that I entered my correct address, but currently in the MVP system, that is not my address. I don't live at the address that, sh that it shows up there. True story, this is me. Mm -hmm. um, but I, when I noticed it last week, I was checking because I'm telling all of my constituents, make sure that everything is accurate. And I was like, oh, this isn't my address. And so I was afraid to go online and, do, and change it again because I didn't want it to then show that I'm not registered or I'm not in the system for the March 24th presidential primary. So, wh where is that disconnect? Because I did it online, I have the screenshot showing okay. that I put in the correct address, but what shows up on the system right now is not my correct address. Can you, um, well, can, can you send that to me? The, sure. Okay. We'll, I'll get, we'll get you the information. Well, I think specifically, um, and, I, and I didn't see this problem in Fulton, I saw it in some of the other counties, there was a lag in terms of, of updating the registration, um, and that's concerning. Because I think yeah, because I'm like, so I just leave it for the wrong address that is still in Fulton County, just so that I can vote, because I don't want to show up to vote and get turned away, because then it's really going to be a problem. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the question is, when she enters that information into the system, he goes to the Secretary of State? Like, it kind of, yeah, very, yeah, so, well, and, and it comes into a dashboard on for us to process. Okay. So it goes into um, election net, and then we have to process those applications into Fulton County, and that's something that's done daily. And you said you, you entered that win last fall. I December twenty eighth. Okay, um, it should have been that should have been processed. It long was processed. Ago. And it showed up. I just decided to check last week, and when I looked, went in to check, I was like, "Oh, but this is not the new. This is a it's a, a new address, but it's not my new address." Okay. I don't know whose new address it is. Okay. Oh, yeah. Please send that. To me. Yes. So, and, yeah. And that's a fair answer. So the voter registration yeah. Yeah. Is the fifth Monday. No, I know when the voter registration was. So, so as soon as you go online, that's the date. So even if it's not processed for three weeks, you get the same thing. So as long as you change it, you know how to put off. It's not in theory. Because I should also already have my correct address. Okay. That's what No, that's what I'm saying. So that's why I didn't want to change it. This also should have already been updated. Yeah. It says that something's been registered. Sure. Inactive means that they are. we have begun the process. So, if there's, uh, if they've moved out of the state and grabbed their county, 
um, there's under federal law, there's a, at least a four year process before we can. Uh, it depends on what you mean by purge, but it's the federal well, list maintenance process it's, it's of removing the, the inactive. Process when you have to be inactive. So, federal law requires you to be in inactive status, notified of in inactive status for two general elections. And so, while you're in that period, your record is inactive, so we separate you from active voters who we believe are here. From the voter's perspective, if you're put inactive, you will have no difference in voting experience if you show up and vote. So you don't have to fill out anything extra. Some states make you fill out extra forms. In Georgia, we don't. Um, but that way, we have those records flagged so that once you miss those two uh, general election cycles with no activity, you haven't submitted anything, you haven't signed petitions, we know which records then are legally allowed to be moved to campus. So do you know why um, the record is flagged as inactive? So there's three main reasons. Return mail would be one. So if the county office sent a voter election mail and it comes back undeliverable, change of address, that can be um, that allows them by law to. Neither one of us are going to move to vote too. Do you have another vote person I can have Dr. Hall? No. Six, oh, are you six, in the status? 61%. 61% of the voters. My address is wrong and, and you're I, in I can tell you exactly like what triggered it. Because there's, there's only three kind of paths by law. I mean, I was just like, look it up. After you said that, I and I was my telling a constituent to look it up. I was like, y'all be sure. And I went through the steps. I was like, so I'm going to put mine in so you can see it. And I was like, yeah.